We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly. Even I've still worked with some crappy people and been taken advantage of. And yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But again, I I think it's the the trajectory that the industry has been going on. It's been getting so much better. And I, I think that's great because I, I don't want to be a part of a cliche. I don't want to be a part of like this like nasty, dirty, sad world where we're all just like these sad girls crying in a corner masturbating. Like it's <laughs> You know, which some, I feel like that's what some people's negative view of porn oh, is. Oh, 100% it is. And some people <laughs> love that. But some people get off on that, which yeah. is kind of funny. There's like some people who they like like the idea that we're all like these desperate, like lost souls who will like will allow anybody to do anything to us. And we'll mm-hmm. just take a check just because it's a check. And nowadays that's not the case. And I think that's what also upsets people as well. But but yeah, I, I've definitely seen incredible changes in the industry. And yeah, and I wouldn't want to say it's easier now, but I think that girls getting into the industry nowadays, they absolutely have more options and people care a lot more about their safety and well-being. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. Do you have any specific examples of bad experiences that you had in your um, earlier days that maybe would serve as examples to people? Um, well, I mean, I had a lot of situations like when I would be on set and we would be shooting uh, sex stills and sex stills is like the pictures you take uh, before the scene actually starts, which are like the the pictures that you promote later that you'll have on the back of the DVD cover or like the promo when uh, the scene comes out. Uh, So we'd be doing uh, sex stills and we'd be kind of going over what they wanted us to do during the scene. Sometimes they let you go and sometimes they have obviously specific things they want to see. And like there would be a bunch of times where like the director or somebody would be like, hey, I know this is like just a boy girl scene, but do you mind if he puts a few fingers in your ass? And you're like naked in the middle of like already being like penetrated, already having sex with somebody. All of these people standing around you. Yeah, you're in and, a very vulnerable position at that very moment. Yeah, and you, and you were like, well, no. And then also too, like you know, stuff. You know, different things are different prices when it comes to like rates. So like anal usually is considered a few dollars more. There are a lot of people, um, and you'd be like, well, I don't know, I'm not really comfortable with that. It's supposed to be just like a, a boy girl scene. I'm just like, you know, a pussy scene. Let's just stick with that. And they would be like, and I've had like directors literally pout and be like, oh. Really? I mean, it would make the scene so much better. I mean, so and so did it. And like, and it was so good. And like, we just want you to do this or just like a few fingers or just this or that. And I'd be like, they would really like kind of put you in a position to like make you feel like you had to do something. And if you said no, that it would upset them or it would potentially cost you work or you weren't as good of a performer as somebody else. So, yeah, I've had stuff like that happen, which isn't cool. That's not a cool thing to do. Um, I've like one of my first like website directors that I shot content with, like this was before, like there was paperwork and consent forms. Like there would be like clips that I uploaded to my page. And like now that you need like much more consent forms, like I took down clips like years ago and then I find them that they're, you know, some people are have them uploaded to Pornhub and I'm like, or different tube sites. And I'm like, this these aren't, you can't have these. Like I haven't even, I don't even have these scenes up. Like these like were home movies that I Mm -hmm. shot with like spouses years ago or like this person I like, I was assaulted me. There was like somebody that like assaulted me that I had like clips with that like they had up on their page and I know they didn't have paperwork for. And I'm like, you please take those down. And they were like, no. And, but now I actually, thankfully in the past few years, that's all changed as well. Mm-hmm. Like now people care again about like consent and paperwork. So actually Pornhub was the one who like took down a mm-hmm. lot of these like clips and stuff that weren't supposed to be there. So yeah. Yeah, I, they had to after that New York Times article they had came to. out. No, and they even started doing that beforehand, yeah. which was like a big deal. So I mean, I've had like a lot of little things here and there where like there was coercion on set or people not caring about like your brand or your money. And so... 
Yeah. I mean, I, I, I could go on. I've definitely had like, you know, PAs message me after a scene and like send me pictures of their dick and say like, yeah, let's do you want to hang out? And I'm oh like, my God, no, so fucking fired. No. Yeah. Oh. Nowadays. I mean, one person actually did like, I think got fired because of that. And they were like, well, no, we were dating. I'm like, we were not dating. So I had to actually send them like transcripts of like all the texts these people were, this guy was sending to me. And I'm like, I was not responding. Like I was saying, no, I don't date. I don't date like people who work on set. I don't date directors or crew or da 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 da. And like, yeah. So I had to like prove because this person was lying and acting like we had a sexual relationship when we never did. Oh my God. It was crazy. Yeah. So I had to send like fucking all the text messages that they sent me and like pictures of their dick that were like, um, please don't send me this. And <laughs> yeah. So wow. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Wow. Yeah. We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly.